our friend uh, JC has issued a challenge to us on seven ways to, um, to get home. So I can pass up the challenge. Well, getting home for me is not that difficult. Well, hello again. This is Joe Garza uh, with Montero Bushcraft. Now, the reason for this video, like I said a minute ago, is to answer the challenge from uh, Mr. JC from BCAOTW, Bushcrafters of the World. Uh, he issued a challenge, as you already know. Uh, he calls it seven ways to get home and he wants to basically to get us to to, to think about ways to get home um, during a major emergency maybe an earthquake maybe um, uh, a hurricane tornado um, so this is a very interesting uh, subject what is it that we that we carry that would um, help us get home to our families if we get caught at, at work so I'm gonna show you now the, the contents of one of the packs that I keep I keep several packs here and there uh, this is just one of them that was um, set up a, a while back for this this kind of um, this kind of disasters. Now it's not the biggest and it's not the fanciest uh, and that's not what it's about, I don't think so. Um, some people have real fancy uh, packs with a lot of gear um, and very heavy. For me I try to pack the lightest uh, stuff I can get my hands on. So um, here are the contents. I put this one together. I don't even know what, what's in it. I'm going to show you what I carry with me in, in my pockets first. So here we go. These are some of the contents, except for this. Hold on. Okay. Um, the magnesium bar and ferro rod, little pieces of, of twine and cotton, little tiny multi tool, always with me. My Smith & Wesson, always with me. You've seen me use it for a lot of projects. I never leave home without it. Um, the cell phone, which is very important for communications, you're going to need this because you got to communicate with your family or the police. My neck knife. Ugly ugly neck knife. Had it for a long time. Okay. Now my belief on um, this kind of emergencies is that uh, you shouldn't go openly armed. It looks great. It looks great on TV and, and in the movies but you don't want to show your weapon. So the neck knife you carry under your shirt. Nobody needs to know that you have it. Only you. And as far as guns 32 caliber automatic 7 round magazine you can put one in the chamber that gives you 8 rounds although I don't recommend having one in the chamber in this particular pistol because it's got an inside hammer that's why you can't lower the hammer like another automatics some people like big guns um, but like I said you don't want anybody to to know that you have one Okay, let's go to the pack now. There it is. It's a little Game Boy uh, Nintendo pouch. I have here a saw, a folding saw. You can find basically anywhere, any garden department. This one I got from Walmart. It locks. No particular brand. All I know is that it works. I tried it already. It works pretty decently.
container for carrying water. Huh, three bucks at the dollar store a while back. Like I said, I don't even know what's in this um, pack anymore. Haven't opened it in a while. Uh, let's see. A little stove, a little hobo stove. And here I have a um, lighter, uh, match safe with matches, striker, and so on, wrapped with um, uh, duct tape. Some prep pads, some toilet paper in there, a paracord bracelet right there. This one's made out of cotton, helps me start fires. That's why it's made out of cotton. It's my little stove. I have here some cheap gloves, maybe to keep my hands warm or if I have to cut something to protect my hands. Hunter's gloves, they're the cheap kind. Uh, probably about five bucks a pair or two dollars a pair. I don't, I don't even remember. Some paracord, a tiny little knife. This one says um, "Sports Afield." It's real nice and sturdy. Guess what? Found my pipe. If you're a smoker, you don't want to be miserable, so. <laughs> This will help you. Now this is a very compact kit, so uh, everything's packed real tight in here. I have a little bowl, again from the dollar store, made out of stainless steel. Inside here, inside this cup, I have some toilet paper. Uh, a little candle, and a tin, scissors, and a little little light here with the compass. A little bag of coffee, and a little tin cup. Two small containers. This one has salt, and I'm sure this one has um, sugar. Salt and sugar, two key ingredients for replacing energy, electrolytes, and so on. Very important to have with you. Another small knife. Uh, this one's um, this one's a buck, and it's small. You can clip it onto your belt. So this uh, little knife and in combination with the uh, 32 automatic and you're basically, you're basically well armed and discreet, discreet because you don't want the, <laughs> you don't want the cops to shoot you. Uh, on the subject of guns, um, somebody mentioned Katrina and uh, Katrina is a good example of uh, what happens to people, especially the police. Uh, confiscating your guns. Uh, it happened in Katrina, and if you don't believe me, just uh, do a search on the gun grabbers of Katrina, and you'll find out what the police did to people and their guns. Forceful evacuations, killings, gun confiscation. So you don't want. To as far as I'm concerned, you don't want to appear all fully dressed in military gear and with your AK-47s and your uh, Glocks and whatever with 20 round magazines. That's just my take on things. Uh, if you have a pistol, carry a small one and keep it well hidden away from other people and maybe the police and the military. So remember that your objective is to, uh, to get home as quickly as possible.